I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I'm a coach who helps people in a variety of different ways related to the workplace. It can be involved with job search, managing your career, hiring more effectively, managing and leading, a whole host of different things. Someone asked me about why we should care about AI being used for hiring. Now, putting aside bias being pro programmed in for now, I want to back up to how applicant tracking systems affect hiring because they involve a certain degree of intelligence and machine learning and the like that's designed to simplify the hiring for the recruiter. And we know how imperfect that technology is just in terms of looking at text on a resume and deducing whether or not this person might vaguely be qualified and to pass them on or screen them out. Now you add another dimension to it, which might involve video interviewing and observing behavioral characteristics that you have in order to see um, how you match up in one way or another. So for example, as, as I've, um, I've had a guest on um, who spoke about body language and human behavior hacking. And she spoke about it. Her name is Susan Ibitz. Susan spoke about micro expressions, the small little things that we tend to do that are interpreted and that signal to interviewers certain characteristics about you and how often people misinterpret. Add a technology component and it's an applicant tracking system on steroids. And as such, for why we care is because we don't know what the rules are anymore. All we know is that we think we can do the job and we believe we can do the job, right? And we're applying to something that's evaluating you based upon not just what you wrote, but physical characteristics as well. And that's where I come back to bias. I wouldn't expect race to come into the equation or sexual orientation or gender or anything like that, but it's not going to notice other characteristics as well. Like for example, you know, in certain cultures, deferential behavior is appropriate, right? It's a sign of respect. In US culture, it isn't. How does AI recognize that and not um, in the U.S. Uh, devalue someone who's respectful and conversely in another country, how does it, you know, um, interpret U.S. behavior for that culture? There are lots of nuances to it that I find hard to imagine are going to be ready at the time it's rolled out and they're going to figure it out on the fly. But when all is said and done, I'll just simply say that you know, we care because it's a game that we don't know the rules to. We have to learn and they're not transparent. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. My website is TheBigGameHunter.us. Go there and go exploring because there's a lot more there that can help you. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, at the site, there's a button that says schedule, schedule time for a free discovery call, schedule time for coaching. I'd love to help you. Lastly, subscribe to my channel on YouTube by clicking the little icon on the lower right or the picture of me in the upper left. You'll get notifications whenever I release new content. Lastly, you can watch me on TV. If you have a Fire TV or a Fire Stick attached to your TV, download the app called Job Search TV or on other TV platforms, Apple TV, Roku, uh, Samsung, Sony, 90 other uh, TV platforms, download the app BingeNetworks.tv and watch me there. Have a great day and take care.